Welcome, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Building Basics in Minecraft. I am the Berserking Corgi. Today, we are going to be going over how to gather, craft, and create Crying Obsidian and Respawn Anchors, and of course, how we can decorate with them. Let's go ahead and get started. In the Nether update, we got these two new amazing blocks right here. This is Crying Obsidian. Now we can get Crying Obsidian as loot from chests and bastions. We can find it naturally from ruined portals, and it is also something that you can barter with pinglids for. So it is not a completely limited resource. Over here, this is one of the more interesting blocks that was added in the update. It is the respawn anchor. Now what makes this block so interesting is that right now you can see that it has a black square on the top and these really cool sides, right? Well, if we take glowstone and add it to it, it starts to get the, the texture of the nether portal on it and it also increases in light value for every single glowstone that we add to it. But be warned that once it is lit, if you are not in the nether, do not right click it with an empty hand. This is what happens. Now in order to craft the respawn anchor, we will need some crying obsidian, six pieces actually, and glowstone, we'll need three pieces. When we click on our crafting table, you will take your six pieces of crying obsidian and place three of them at the top and three of them at the bottom, just like that. Then we'll take our three pieces of glowstone, one, two, three across, and there we go. That is how you create the respawn anchor. In order to gather these blocks, you're going to need to either use a diamond pickaxe or a netherite pickaxe, just like you would with obsidian normally. These two amazingly gorgeous blocks are just that simple to either gather or create. So, how can we decorate with these beautiful blocks? And this is what I came up with. I have always wanted to create a portal room this amazing, and these new blocks have absolutely made that possible. Because finally, I can have a portal in the floor to mirror the wall. It doesn't work as a portal, but Oh, it looks so cool and I love it. And to avoid accidentally right clicking on the uh, respawn anchors, I did put some black glass on it just for safety purpose. But if you live vicariously, you know, just place them level with the ground and uh, just don't do the glass at all. I also have as many sides of the respawn anchors as I could put in here. So here is the unlit top. Here is the unlit sides. You can see up there, you can see the bottom of the unlit one as well. And I have those acting as pillars with some of the polished black stone walls. Uh, I used black concrete just to fill in the, the areas in between with lots of obsidian to give the portal-like effect. And I think that this looks so cool. Even something as simple as placing black glass over the crying obsidian has given it just a little bit enough of a color difference that it contrasts the uncovered crying obsidian, which looks pretty darn cool. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode where we not only learned how to gather crying obsidian and how to craft respawn anchors, but how to create a beautiful designs with them. I hope that this episode has inspired you. If you have any ideas for any future episodes, please leave those down in the comment section below. If you don't already follow me over on Twitter, Instagram, or Discord, I really sneak peeks, teasers, and occasionally pictures of my puppy dog, BC. I am the Berserking Corgi. Have a fantastic day.